Hello comrades, my name is Fritz and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program New Horizons for the start of Season 2. Today we are fulfilling a very important contract to review and observe some mysterious activity on the surface of the moon. So without further ado, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition sequence start. We have liftoff. Yes indeed it is, welcome back, New Horizons returns to a channel near you, and uh, it's shaping up to be a good season, we've got more missions to accomplish, more frontiers to explore, and, well, we're starting off modest, uh, we're going to the moon once again, uh, but this time, since we've already landed on the moon conventionally, um, we have some research missions to do. Now, these external three boosters are going to fire in a second. Uh, these Separatrons are going to go first, because we've had issues with errant Separatrons um, in the previous season, so hopefully this can cure that. Off they go, and... Go! And it's it's not bad, it could have been better, but... And, well, we've got some rather interesting pitch-over situations going on. The stage recovery mod on this modded career mode series should help us regain some funds uh, for those rockets, so we're not just wasting money on losing those big stages. Now, uh, we have, as a result of taking a long time to separate the boosters, lost a bit of our um, sideways potential energy, so we are trying to just keep it on the, the 90 degree mark because this thing is a little bit wobbly. It's not as bad, but we can, we can control it. We do seem to have a lot of thrust in this big engine as we head towards our apoapsis once again and slowly up the throttle. We don't want to kick it all the way into, into full into full chat quite yet because that could induce some oscillations. Um, oscillations that are inconvenient and might result in a rapid unplanned disassembly which is not of course what we are looking for at this stage in the game. It costs us a lot of money as well. Uh, and looking for a nice shallow orbit. Perhaps a 70 cent. That's not a bad orbit at all. Come on, that's not bad. Okay, sit rep. We are pointing the wrong way, and I've just used the engines to, to fire myself in the right direction. I just wanted to induce a bit of motion so that we are we're able to point in the right direction and burn for the moon. I don't actually have any RCS wretch control monopropellant thrusters on the rocket because the upper stage is manoeuvrable enough to move with just the power of the reaction wheels within the space pod. However, we are on course at the moment. I'm going to re-enable the thing here and try and find where the moon is. Now, the most optimum place to burn is, of course, as the moon rises, or informatively, I should say, for new players as the moon rises is the most efficient place of burning for moon or intercept and there it is we've overcooked that a little bit we'll just correct for that and yes there we go nicely done get rid of that stage and slowly because that's going to knock into that remove that stage there that rocket sails into the abyss uh, packing a bit less thrust with this tiny uh, LVT-15 Reliant engine. I don't think this is the small one with the gimbling. Um, we don't need gimbling at this point. That is only for atmospheric situations. Um, and we need more control authority, but yes, our orbit is expanding nicely, and uh, we should be on our way in no time at all. Okay, we're back, and we have just done a deorbit burn to basically head down to the surface of the moon. Now, the reason why we're doing this, we are nowhere near our signal, by the way, our anomalous data source, 
Essentially, I have been given a very vague description of where this target is. From what I remember in Mission Control, it's 70 south and 70 west. I have no idea whether that is in relation to the moon, although I do have a vague idea, seeing as this one, this flag that we set down in Season 1, uh, Episode 1 actually, was 41, well, it was basically on the equator and 97 degrees east. So I feel like if that's about 97 degrees, that's going to be your center point, and this will be west. And then obviously we do need to head down a bit further because we are still fairly equatorial. Uh, we're going to land slap bang in the middle of this crater. Hopefully we won't make another smaller crater as we enter, but here it comes. Uh, I, think we I think we're going a bit fast. No. And we're going to die, I think. That's 190, 190 meters per second, slowing down. Steady as she goes, and oh no. Well, that went a bit wrong. We are still sailing quite quickly across the regolith here, but uh, 25 meters per second isn't slow. Um, yeah, Malvis, Malvis might be in a bit of trouble here. Let's get him out. Uh, let's see. See if we can't use him. Uh, or at least make him survive. Escape! Escape! Run away! Save yourself! No! He's coming in hot and, uh, well, yeah. Oh, we are! We might survive this! Just kill that lateral velocity. The pod. Ah, the awkward moment when the pod actually survives as well. And, oh no! The pod is a bit broken. Wow, he's sliding on his face quite unceremoniously there. Uh, is that the pot? Is that the telescope? That, that, I think, was the telescope. That is a lot of science, well, a lot of money, that we've uh, that we've just lost there. Down we come now for take two. I'm burning a little more conservatively so that we don't end up slamming into the surface again. Um, it looks like things are going to plan. I'm just going to ease off a bit. It's 190 meters per second there. Coming down towards the surface. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I think we're going a bit too fast once again. Uh, yes, well, we're going to crash with less vigour than we did last time. But hey, and yeah, 30, 20, 90 metres per second. Oh, this might actually be pretty good, he says, as 30... Well, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We are not going to die. We survived. That was very close, actually. Hang on. Um, right, what we need to do is maybe just... Yeah. What I think is a good plan is to slow my sideways movement here. Because we are... Oh, my God. Okay, we're heading quite quickly. Sideways. Um, how are we doing that? Altitude. Oh God Almighty! We almost, we almost died. Right. New plan. Drop that stage and activate the engines. Drop the landing legs. Slide out. Well, the ground is quite close. Should we say it's quite close? It is quite close. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna need some serious. Serious, oh dear. Retrograde. We found it just in time, actually. That's that was close. And wow, we don't tip, don't tip over. Come on. Uh, perched precariously on one leg. That was good. And oh no. Don't tip. Ah, oh, well, we cocked it up. Well, um, hmm, what can we do? EVA. We did it. We d and it's right. We are. We have literally been ejected at great speed. This could be bad for the spacecraft. I have just realised. Right, down, 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 down. Well, it does mean we have a kind of saving grace here, but. Spacecraft is going back towards the ground. Oh no, come on. Whoa. 
and I think we're, we're breaking more things in the process here. Did come back? No, come back, man. Come on, get up, for God's sake. This mission is proving to be slightly more arduous than I initially theorised. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out as we go along. 200 meters per second is still pretty fast and will result in a fairly big impact. I am sorry, by the way, if you can't see anything. Take consolation in the fact that I can't either. And I'll guess, I think I'll spare you the um, arduous notion of, of sitting through complete blackness. So I'll cut when we're closer to the ground. I'll see you then. Righty ho then, what I've actually remembered that I can do is use one of the mods, actually use one of the mods that I have installed, and uh, change the ambient light level so that we can actually see where the hell we're going. Uh, we're doing well actually, coming down nice and slowly. Well, 80 meters per second isn't exactly slow, but it is slower than we hit the ground before. Um, yes, anyway, right. Um, hmm, how are we doing? Malvis Kerman getting ready for landing. Out. Use the engine a bit more. We have tiny dregs of fuel left in this core stage. I'm actually quite impressed with this stage. It wasn't intending. I, I wasn't intending it for it to uh, get us this far. We'll just use it to kill off some of our extra velocity. And that's 30. And there it goes. Right. The landing legs. Like that. We can also use this stage to gauge how far above the ground we actually are. Not far as it turns out, so we're just going to put it up to full chat 9 and stop. Oh god, it's happened again. These landing legs are pretty poorly kind of fitted here. Sliding, sliding. Oh my god. Stop! Please stop! Please! Accelerate. No. Oh, bugger. Well, hey, that was fun. Accelerate. Have we broken something? We haven't broken anything, as it turns out. No, no. Get the nose above the ground. This isn't helping matters, to be honest. This really isn't helping matters. Uh, landing is a lot trickier than I initially forecasted. Although, um, yes, three, two, we did it! We finally landed it on the surface of the moon. We're going to quick save here, and this, for the duration of the mission, is going to be our surface exploration vehicle. Uh, where are we? Wow, that is, that is a pockmarked surface. Uh, 307 east. Right. Hmm. Okay, well, that's gone a bit wrong. Wait, why have I landed here? West is in the opposite direction to where I thought it was. Well, I'm a massive tit. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll try that again in the next episode, but, uh, on that terrible disappointment, well, um, we'll pick this up in the next, in the next installment. My name is Fritz. And uh, I'll see you next time.